I've been playing Yamaha for 41 years. I'm always looking forward to their latest surprise, their latest tweak, their latest invention, and I have to say, this little machine is their latest gift. The beauty of the hybrid instrument is that the touch is the touch of an acoustic instrument. So you have the degree of precise response that you would have. This product really does compete to a certain extent with an acoustic grand. It's been amazing to find out the versatility of styles, that the amount of expression you can achieve on this instrument is really unparalleled in any digital instrument that I've found. The versatility of it's just amazing. For example, I can do um, harpsichord repertoire, which is now done a lot on piano, and it completely responds. I can do Chopin nocturnes, and it'll give me all the expression that I want. response of the touch is really amazing and I can go from as quiet as I would on any finely tuned, finely prepared piano to as loud anything that I would want. I mean, you can do... You get all the power, you get all the tone, you get all the... All the, the what we call the colorings and the shadings from the, the most demanding repertoire. It just does it all absolutely normally like you would expect out of any good grand. It's been interesting spending time with it and getting to know the various different applications. Uh, the fact that you've got all kinds of different voices, the fact that I can practice my Bach, for example, and just press a couple little buttons and do my... Uh This is where I get to do something I've always wanted to do. And here's one I've prepared earlier. Say you're studying a concerto. If you want to learn the orchestral accompaniment part, record it and play along with yourself. You get a much better idea of the sounds and the cues, you're better prepared. If there's a particular two piano piece you really, really like, you can actually play it with yourself and have the world's best balanced duo. And here's one I prepared earlier, case in point. Obviously, due to its size, you can have this in a city apartment. You get the urge to play very loudly at 2 o'clock in the morning. You just plug in the headphones and neighbors will not be the wiser. And then you have all kinds of things. You have built-in metronomes, so you don't need your little back and forth, slightly uneven metronome to work with. It's permanently in tune, which means your piano technician will hate you. Students are not known for having huge budgets for piano maintenance. This solves that problem also. You can use this if you're a beginner student, because one of the nice things about having an instrument like this is A, a young student can afford it and already have an instrument that makes you sound good and that feels right, so you're enthusiastic about your practice. You can also be a music academy student that's already doing the advanced repertoire and still have this because it will respond. I'd say the three best things about this piano are the fact that it's always in tune and always voiced, the fact that it does not take up a lot of room, and the fact that you have the response of a keyboard that is equal to the keyboard of an acoustic piano. It doesn't feel different. It is a piano. It's not a digital keyboard. This actually is a piano.